Hello everyone, my fellow Blitz, and welcome back to Love Esquire. You wouldn't think I'll be back here so soon, but haha. <laughs> Morning, lad! Hello, Pops. For me, it's a Wednesday, and Wednesdays and Thursdays are my better days for recording, or a more likely day of recording multiple videos in one day. So it's all good. Morning, Pops! Morning, Pops! So, I've heard they're opening the castle for the music festival. Yes. I know. Pretty sweet, huh? Well, I'm glad something like this happened in my lifetime. Indeed. Now I'm all popped up! That's all good, Pops. Glad to hear that, Pops. <laughs> anyway, I gotta head out soon. Times sure are changing, eh? Well, changes like this are worth celebrating. Certainly they are, Pops. Thank the princess for that, Pops. <laughs> I'll remember that when I go drinking later. That's all good. That's all good. What? Whoa, look at this crowd. The whole entire day was sucked up. Fellow Cerulians. Hello, Beatrice. Hold on, isn't that... I welcome you all to this momentous occasion. No, Princess Beatrice. On this day, we celebrate the birth of one of the great arts, music. And for the very first time in our history, noble and commoner alike will celebrate it together. Just hope the nobles don't fall out with the commoners and vice versa. Today, and for all succeeding music festivals, the castle will be open to everyone. This shall be my first royal decree as the future queen of Cerulea. Let us all have a splendid evening. Sounds good. Probably does take a lot of time to prepare all this, though, so nice yeah. Nice weather we're having, don't you agree? Aww. I guess so. Yes, splendid. Princess Beatrice is not very good at small talk. So, um... What things do you like? Bugs! Yes, Ooh. I see. <laughs> do you like bugs, princess? Oh, heavens no! I absolutely detest them! One Aww. time, I found my tea garden infested by giant stink beetles. It was the worst! They were a plague to Cerulea. No. You hate them? I most certainly do! One day, I will make sure to pass a law to exterminate every single one. Beatrice, this is not convenient. You're hurting the poor girl's feelings. Why? Oh dear, is there something wrong? <laughs> Mommy, the princess wants to kill all the bugs. Wait, that's not what I meant. Oh. I, uh, I was just joking. You're a bit off center there, princess. Joking, God help me. You tried your best, Princess. Mm -hmm. It seems my best wasn't enough. Indeed, it You'll was. Get the hang of it, Your Highness. Yeah. I promise. <laughs> anyway, when are you taking the spotlight? I can't wait to see what you've got. Indeed. I'll be taking the stage in a few minutes. Thank you. And I must let you know that I am fully prepared to capture the hearts of everyone in attendance. Yes. Capture away, <laughs> Princess. Good luck. Can't good luck wait to me, see this. Squire. Just watch me. Oh, good. Hello, Princess Kamala. Ah, Princess Kamala, you having a good time? Indeed, I am. I cannot wait for Beatrice to play. Indeed. I also saw you two talking. Did you wish her well? Yes, yeah, she says she's got this. Oh, she did. <laughs> well, that confidence is why I admire her so. That's why we all admire her so much, because of that sheer confidence of hers. Oh, and there she is now. Wow. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So gorgeous. <laughs> She's pretty good. <laughs> Squire, this is amazing. I did not believe Cerulean music could be so festive. I love the animation to this. It's so flawless. Me too, princess. Come, let us join the others and dance. The only thing that would make it a little bit better would be if the strings went with the um I forgot what this is called on the violin. <laughs> the thing that makes it make sound. I'd love to, Princess Kamala. But could you let me enjoy the princess for a bit longer? Yeah. Enjoy the princess? Yeah. I meant enjoy her playing. Y yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, oh, I see. Very well, Squire. I will let you enjoy her in peace. Very formal, but it didn't sound right. No, it did not. Uh, Pardon me, your highness, but that was a beautiful performance. 
Why, thank you, kind sir. I'm I'm proud to be a part of this festival. Fertility God bless you. Aww. May he bless you too. Aww. Princess! <laughs> well, if it isn't the squire, how was my You were amazing! Well I Of, of course. course. <laughs> I wish you could have played the whole night! I, I could if you wanted me to, but Aww. you looked good up there! You sure captured my heart. Um <clears throat> Squire, calm down. <laughs> What's a giant mess? Sorry. Huh? Who's that? Is that a noble? I believe that is the marshal. Yep. Being his loud and obnoxious self. Yep. What was the princess thinking? Breaking the solemnity of our music festival. I couldn't agree more, Marshal. Oh dear. Why did they let this rabble in? Oh, you nobles are so self-proclaimed. My lords and ladies, may I offer my humble estate to properly celebrate this day. Yes, let us get away from this mob. <laughs> How very gracious of you, Lord Flinkman. <laughs> Why, that conniving little weasel. <laughs> hmm. P Princess, wait! Where are you going? She's off to give him a word, I presume. Whew, where is she? I'm sorry to bother you with this, Princess. Let them complain all they want. If they do not see the importance of this event, then it is their loss. Are you sure, your highness? Some of the nobles had legitimate complaints. We've caught a couple of thieves who unfortunately took advantage of your hospitality. Thank you for a job well done, Sir Grand. Let me deal with their complaints after this festival. As you wish, your highness. <sighs> if only something could work out for once. Princess Beatrice, are you alright? Oh, Squire. Do you hear all that? Only the important details. I'm sorry, your highness. I didn't mean to. It's just that you ran off and I wasn't done complimenting you yet. Weren't done <laughs> You are a strange one. We are indeed. But as much as I would like to say that I have things under control, it seems I do not. I thought this was a chance for all my subjects to be at ease. But it appears that gathering people and letting them enjoy at least one evening together is more than trouble. I'm starting to wonder if this was such a good decision. It was a good decision. It's just those pesky nobles that make the event horrible. Princess. And those thieves as well. It is a good decision. Commoners get too rowdy sometimes. Your Highness, it may not look like it right now, but I believe doing this will pay off someday. You think so? Exactly. No one usually notices the little guy, Princess. I may not be a noble, and I may not stand for every commoner out there. But opening your doors to us was great. So, thanks. I... <laughs> well, of course you'd be grateful. I am a generous ruler after all. Now then, I must be off. I have a party to deal with. Enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you. Will do, princess. Yay. 140. New, to new topics. Yes. <laughs> new topics to discuss. Woof. Broken earrings. I've been looking for you. Have you now? Uh, none of these will suit as gifts. I've been looking for you. I'm talents. sure a princess like you has all sorts of talents. <laughs> of course I do. So, what kind of stuff are you good at? Music. Everything. Everything? Yes. After all, I am the future queen. I am perfect in every way. Everyone who admires Princess Beatrice... We know who you are. Would say that, In obviously. Fact, I cannot think of a single thing I am bad at. Small talk. Right. What about being humble? I am excellent at that one, too. In fact, I am so humble I astound myself sometimes. That's not being humble. What's wrong, Princess? <laughs> it seems that I have found myself caught in a paradox. Yep. <laughs> to boast about humility would prove that I am not humble. Exactly. <laughs> if I remain silent in my humility, then no one will be aware of it. This is most distressing. I must reflect on this further. Oh, dear, Princess. Oh, dearie, dear. What do we do about such paradoxes? We're well, next time around. Nothing there, too. This consumed our entire day. <laughs> Uh, at least we get to talk to the princess one more time. Lovely. I can't believe that wasted the entire day, for goodness sakes. Who were the thieves? They must be punished. Put the fire on. 
Look at that. Look at the wonderful, wonderful photo of them all. They all look sweet together. It's just too bad that the mother's face is um, blurred out. Unless it's like a, a potential spoiler for the end of Amy's route or something like that. Every character has a route. And you most certainly know, folks, that by now you should know that this is the route of Beatrice. Princess Beatrice was there at the time. That's why we talked to her after the wonderful music festival. <sighs> right. What do we have for today? Hello. I wouldn't even get to milk Bessie yesterday because of the event. Damn it, Pops. Why could you interact up interacted with us of that a ton of a time? What can I do for you? Can we talk about gifts? Talk about something else? Okay. Um hey there. Hello, Amy. Family. Oh, we've run out of conversation. So we run out of conversations with Amy. Uh that means we need to give her a gift. Not that I'm complaining. I just want to give gifts to Beatrice, that's all. Uh oh, lovely times. Lovely times all round. Let's see. Do you want to see my wares? I want to see your wares, Serena. Let's see. Amy likes flowers and star compass. No, wild pink berry. That's the one. Um, flowers. Thank you for your generous patronage. And I also want a luxurious ring for Beatrice. A, fine choice. a very fine choice, I'll have you know. Freshly squeezed from Bessie's tits. <laughs> and tits is not a rude word. It's just a very informal word for breasts or boobs. Boobs. Bobs. In here, band aid. And there's nothing here in this wardrobe. Hmm, let's see what Vail is up to around these parts. Anything to fish for? I heard of it as an incredibly rare item that you can get by fishing. So that's why it's always good to fish every day. Even though I don't abide by my own logic there. Yeah, got something to say? Likes. So Val, I bet you snack on stuff that goes great with beer. Uh, yeah, I do. Like, you ever tried chewing on jerky while taking a swig of ale? No. Aw, well, of course you don't. Little boys can't chew. Shut up, Val. What the? Huh. Well, munch on that jerky all you want, but it's doing nothing to that height of your shrimp. Huh? <laughs> you got a death wish? I'll show you what for. You, 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 you what? You sweet roll. Sweet roll? Sweet roll? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, that's right. You're a sweet roll. Why don't you let me dip some sugar cubes in your tea? Maybe I'll even give you a bib so you don't stain your clothes, Mr. Sweet Roll. Um, I'm not sure whether to take this as an insult, but... Are you trying to call me a sissy? That doesn't even make sense. Well, go figure it out on your own. Random insults. Well, her punches are not going to <laughs> argue with that. Um... We need to train more. That's the important thing. We need to train more. Tavern. Let's use our money for training. Hmm. We need to heal. Oh, we can go up another level. Excellent. So, you're here often? We are very here often. I'm a squire. With a winning smile. <laughs> With a winning smile. Nobody is winning when you are trying to flirt with them. Princess Kamala, Giselle, what do we do on a day like today? Uh, we've already been to the outskirts, we've already been to the infirmary for item, barracks, barracks for some talking with Princess Kamala. Let's see, talk time. Oh, look, it's Princess Kamala. What's she doing in the barracks? Squire? Hello. Greetings, Princess. I didn't expect to see you here. 
Greetings. I was just watching the guards do their rounds. <laughs> it is always interesting to view another country's training regime. Put your backs into it, soldiers! Sir Grant. Oh, that is Knight Grand, is it not? She seems to be a truly capable knight. She is indeed. Keep at it. Your enemies will show you no mercy, so neither will I. So basically what you're saying is that our enemies are more merciful than Sir Grant. Yep! Isn't she awesome? She's the number one knight in Cerulea! The cracker of skulls, breaker of backs! She's the coolest. Why, it would seem that Knight Grant has quite the admirer. Indeed we are. Well, I've always looked up to Sir Grant. Hearing all the stories about her is one of the things that inspired me to be a knight. Oh, really? I'm sure she must feel quite flattered by such devotion. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think she really knows. It's best if she doesn't know. Oh, really? Why not? Well, Sir Grant isn't exactly the approachable type. She doesn't really talk to commoners that much. Now that I think of it, she usually keeps her distance from most people. Yep. I guess that's the mark of an awesome knight. Always professional. I see. Interesting. Interesting? How? How? Well, it reminds me of how we are treated back in Alcos. Noble women, such as myself, are revered for our skills and beauty. But we are discouraged from interacting with common folk. To do such would be to make ourselves close to the people. That would be a good thing, though. And the closer someone is, the more difficult it is to idealize them. Mm -hmm. So we are trained to practice proper decorum to mask our true selves. Ouch. <laughs> I am afraid it gets, uh, tiring after a while. Don't worry, you can go crazy here. Well, I think you're pretty great. That doesn't sound fun at all. Tell you what, Princess. If you want to let loose, say really is the best place to do it. Mm, let... let what loose? Your emotions. You know, you can be yourself here. Do whatever you want. I see. To be oneself. Yes. Such is a luxury for me. Ouch. Though, thank you for your words. I shall try my best to let loose. <laughs> Glad to hear it. <laughs> you there. You call that a thrust? Ow. Are you all just begging for death? Fight with dignity. A proper stance is the foundation of proper swordsmanship. <laughs> Sir Grant is just so cool. Indeed. To be admired only from afar. Oh. It is quite a lonely burden. What's that, Princess? Uh, oh, nothing. <laughs> I was just thinking out loud. You was, wasn't you? I just realized. All this time we have been talking about your admiration for Knight Grand. But what about the Knight Hugh? Hugh! <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious, Princess. Uh, what? But I did not mean to jest. <laughs> but you did. Oh, that took up two hours. I was hoping it only took up one so that we can actually just, you know, train. But I'm guessing that's not going to be the case. Oh, for goodness sakes. We need to train six times. That's going to be 150 gold, which we do not have. God damn it. All the time. Uh, we could go to the castle at least to get an item for the day. Nobody's about, but we can get an item. If there's nothing else left to do, getting items is the best thing left. Yay, old silverware. Isn't that revitalizing? Ugh. I suppose they work as gifts if you don't have anything else, but you need to know which ones there is, because there are times when a gift does not give you any kind of stat bonuses or any kind of stats in the first place because they're so disgusted by it which we can't complain really <laughs> if you've given up some old chewed up silverware that a dog had then wouldn't you be surprised if somebody rejected your gift it's just so we had a beginning okay hello how are you today huge one Let's see, rest and save? Absolutely. Override save data. First day the 16th. Oh. 
That smells good. Hey, Amy, what's cooking? Oh, you're up. Grab a plate and dig in. Hello, Pops. Pops? Where's Amy? Don't you know? She joined the ladies of the lake. Did she? All right. She did. Well, she just took off a few moments ago. Okay. You should probably go. Your sister could use the support. Okie dokie. I'll be dropping by as well. I don't want to miss her first pageant after all. <laughs> I... I'm Aww. so proud. <laughs> they grow up so fast. Aww. You're a proud father. <laughs> Come on, Pops. Save it for when she wins. Oh, uh, but right. she's I'll see you around the outskirts. Then. What do you mean by save it when she wins? He's a proud father, that's why. Yeah, I'll see you there. And thanks for breakfast. No worries. Ooh. Why do you let that naive Alcozy girl ruin everything? This festival is our culture, our tradition. Whatever your argument is, Blinkman, the princess will remain a contestant. Then I refuse to partake in this. Good day. Good riddance, you old fart. <laughs> you said what we wanted to say. <laughs> Was he talking about Princess Kamala? What a bloody annoyance. Any luck, Lady Taliha? Hugh? He's a judge too? Why, yes, he left. And thank the fertility god for that. Can we be a judge? Okay, but who's going to be our fifth judge now? What if someone needs to break a tie? You're right, Sir Hugh. Well, let's see who else we can find. Can we judge? Oi! Hugh! Why didn't you tell me about this? Kiddo? What are you doing here? You? A judge? As your squire, you could have given me a front row seat or something! Hey, could you not bug me right now? I'm having problems here. You there, boy. Hello, Lady Talia. Do you think you have good taste in women. We do. <laughs> Anyways. Me? <laughs> of course I do. Y you can't possibly. Very well. You shall be our yes. fifth judge. Yes. <laughs> what? Yes. Me? Yes. <laughs> Let's do this. I will gladly accept this responsibility. I will shoulder this burden. My lady, you can't be serious. He doesn't have any experience yet. Yes, but someone like him could provide a fresh perspective. Exactly. To spice up the event. Exactly, lady. Besides, our show starts in a few minutes. I will not have any more delays. Hear that, Hugh? I'm spicy. Yeah. Oh, fine. We'll make do with him. Exactly. You better be prepared. We Hugh? will do. I've wanted to become a judge my whole life. I was born to be. I was not called Flair. <laughs> Flair born ready for nothing. Gentlemen, let's pick up the pace. We have a show to do. Righty ho, lady. Yes, ma'am. Everyone, welcome to our annual celebration of the Ladies of the Lake Festival. Ooh. I'm your amazing host, Lady Taliha. Things are going to get interesting this year as we have some new faces joining us. Without further ado, let me introduce to you the five lovely ladies who are aspiring to be your next Lady of the Lake. Is it going to be our five possible people that we can choose to be our friends with? Our first contestant comes from the land of copper and spices. Princess Kamala Copperheart of Alco. I am here to represent oh. Alco in all her beauty. Aww. <laughs> Bell Sharp! I got this! You sure do. Following her is our mysterious nurse, Giselle Renu! Aww. And last, but certainly not the least, it's your local farm girl and merchant, Amelie Bowden! I, I thought it was gonna be this. Now make your day sweet! Aww. Ladies and this is where this portrait comes here from. Are Which one? <laughs> no kidding, I mean. Play to win, shrimp. Yes, they're all gorgeous, aren't they? <laughs> now, as you all 
all know, our contestants will be judged by five outstanding figures of the realm. First is, of course, your all-time favorite yeah. and noble, me, Lady Taliha. <laughs> <laughs> Famous for all the wrong reasons. Hey. <laughs> Sitting beside him is a man who's seen us all drunk. Our beloved boss. It's good to be here, folks. Oh yeah. Also here to make things exciting. We have the grand oh, dear. Kamu Moist. <laughs> and as for our fifth and final judge, <laughs> we've got a special surprise for you folks. Just for today, we've made this young man's lifelong dream of becoming come true so please welcome our newest member boy what's your name again i'm squire <laughs> squire <laughs> yeah the deuce why is he here the squire <laughs> how interesting it's that dummy yep hey bro you know who to vote for oh no <laughs> hi everybody my first time being a judge I know some of you are jealous of me right now, <laughs> but don't worry, I'll do a great job. Right, that's some confidence you got there. Anyway, let's get this show started, shall we? Mm-hmm. It's time for our ladies to prove themselves worthy of our great fertility god. Let's start with our first contestant, Princess Kamala of Alco. Oh, Tell yeah. Me, Princess, what do you think of Cerulea so far? Cerulea? Oh, I love <laughs> how much green there is in your kingdom. Oh my gosh. I just realized something. Do I have the sense of those? I'm not too sure. It is a fresh sight to see compared to the vast dunes of Alcos. I really do hope we become allies. Oh, you're such a sweetheart, princess. Mm-hmm. So what will you be performing for us today? I shall be performing an Alcosi traditional dance. Ooh, a dance? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kiddo, we're in for a treat. Alcozy dances are something else. How so? I've heard the stories. They get pretty... Um, hot. Hot. <laughs> hot? I can't wait to see that. That's great, princess. Tell us more before you begin. The dance is called the Rox Talvar. In your tongue, it would be called the Deadly Dance of Swords. Ooh. Wait, curved swords, yep. Yikes! Princess, will you be okay with those? She will be, don't yes. you worry. I am a professional. Be amazed. Uh, boss? This is far from hot. I... I can't watch. Tell me when it's over. The handmaiden starts playing a tune. Kamala starts by juggling the swords. Oof. What the hell? That's awesome! It is indeed, isn't it? Yep. She finishes with a few quick turns while catching the four swords midair. Thank you, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this dance. <laughs> Princess, thank you for that. Deadly. <laughs> Coming up next is Her Highness Princess Beatrice. <laughs> Princess, any words before you start your performance? Everyone. Behold your future queen. It is time I grace you with my presence. To show Aww. my worth, I will demonstrate my impeccable aim. Could someone place this apple on our new judge's head? What? Princess. <laughs> with pleasure. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. You heard the princess, kiddo. Don't joke now. Exactly. <laughs> I advise our new judge to stay still if he values his head. Come on. Are you ready, Squire? Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a clean hit! <laughs> of course. I never miss my mark. Oh. Thank you, Princess. That was another deadly performance. It's deadly indeed. Now, let's introduce the next contestant. Here's everyone's favorite troublemaker, the Sharp. Why did I even agree to this? Why did you agree to this? <laughs> I'm here to spice things up. Come on, Velmore Confidence. Let's get to know her a bit more. 
Sovel, they say you like drinking the day away. What's your favorite drink? Uh, favorite? Yeah. Uh, oh, right. Uh, I drink the heavy stuff, of course. Only, uh, say really in deep dragon ale for me. That's right. I even have this huge barrel with me. <sighs> uh, amazing! So what are you doing with that? Is it part of your performance? Yeah, I'm gonna lift the barrel with one hand while drinking from the whole thing. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Belle. Why can't these girls have normal talent? <laughs> <laughs> Here it goes. That's strength. We should recruit her. Now, bottoms up. Ooh. See that, you? I told you someone could break our streak. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even finish a bottle of Dragon Ale all by ourselves. She, she drinks like a soldier. Yep. I, I'm, I'm done. Yep. I incredible! What an amazing feat of strength! <laughs> Thank you for the show, Belle. Next. Next up, we have the calm and cool face that we see working at the infirmary. Giselle Renouve! Let me bet. <laughs> Let me guess witchcraft! <laughs> Giselle, allow me to pull through your shroud of mystique for just a bit. Why did you choose to be a nurse? Yeah. Come on, don't be shy. I want to help. Hmm. Aww, ain't she a sweetheart, everyone? Indeed she is. So, nurse, what do you have in store for us? If it's anything witchcraft, I won't be surprised. Huh? This should get interesting. <laughs> Finally, a normal talent. No, it's not. Now, please go on with the performance. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Looks like she prepared a rabbit and a hat for her trick. I will turn this rabbit into a flock of birds. Good luck, Madame Giselle. <laughs> Damn, Giselle. Master of the depths. Hear my plea. Porvis, Porvis! A couple of crows suddenly come flying out of her hat. She shows us what's inside of her hat. It's empty. Whoa! That was something. An incredible display of trickery and sleight of hand. Let's give her some applause, shall we? Mm hmm. <laughs> Will Amy come up with the only normal thing? No, it's real magic. <laughs> and to close this portion of the pageant, here's Amelie Bowden. Amelie. Hey everyone, I'm here to do my best. Aww. We've all seen her around the plaza, but let's take this chance to get to know her better. Mm -hmm. You're a farm girl, Amy. Is there any kind of technique that you use to have a good harvest? Well, sometimes I talk to the plants. It's to motivate them, you know? This pageant doesn't have any normal <laughs> contestants. I, that <laughs> yeah. sounds cute. Definitely nothing wrong there. Yep. Now, Amy, everyone's waiting for your performance. What are you going to do for us? Well, I only have one talent. Oh, no, please don't sing, please. So I'm going to sing for you. Aww. What's the matter? Yeah. I've heard her sing in the back. She sounds like a banshee, Hugh. A banshee. Come on, kiddo. Don't treat exactly. your sister like that. You don't know what I've been through. <laughs> well, if she really is bad, let's just cheer her on. Exactly. I can't watch this. It's your role as a judge to watch it. Splendid. Sing away, Amy. <laughs> Down by the Sally. What the? Oh, I don't know about you, but she sounds great. Indeed. I can't believe it. She doesn't normally sound like this. Because maybe the bathroom echoes. I, I don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> I, I was young and foolish, and now I am full of tears. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Aww. Splendid! Beautiful! Bravo! 
<laughs> oh, I can't accept this. I have questions. And that concludes the talent portion. Indeed. Judges, we shall now be taking in your votes. We'll be back in a few minutes after tallying the results. Indeed. Now it's our turn to discuss. We're back, everyone. The results are in. Oh, we didn't even get to see the discussion. Here's who you voted for. And the winner is... Who? What? I can't believe this. Is it a tie between all five? What happened? All f it's a tie between all five. This, this hasn't happened in ages. A tie between five people. Just give it to us already. It's yeah. It's a five-way tie. <laughs> exactly. We all voted for a person. You've got to be kidding me. Yep. Yes, it is. I'm not kidding. Look at this. Wait a minute. Let me see that. Hmm. Votes, names, judges. Damn! I knew it. Hey, I'm back. What did I miss? Why didn't you vote for anyone? Oh, did I miss that? Sorry. What? Where the hell were you? You said there was a break. I had a big breakfast and I had a go. Well done. Good job delaying the pageant, kiddo. No, he didn't, Sir Hugh. This is actually interesting. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Huh? What are you talking about? Do we get to decide for tiebreak? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a surprise for you. Our newest judge will have the honor of breaking the tie. Oh gosh, it's up to us. This is the worst thing ever. It's all to me. Yes. Yes, we will leave this decision to you. What? So pick wisely, Oh. You better make the right choice. Okay. <laughs> How exciting. Aww. What the? It's all up to him now? Yes, Phil. <laughs> Bro, there's a big apple pie waiting for you back home if you pick me. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> what a day. It is indeed what a day. <laughs> <sighs> What's with that dumb luck? <laughs> I'm thinking the same as well, you. <laughs> Why is it up to us? Well, Squire, who do you choose? What do I do? <laughs> oh, my goodness sakes. This is such a conundrum. If, if I was not going down a particular route of wanting to have Beatrice as... The person in which we get the best ending out of out of our first playthrough, then by all means, I would probably pick the only kind of, well, the, the normal talents, I would say, are, I don't know, it's a very wicked dance that Kamala brought to the table. We almost lost our lives due to the fact that Princess Beatrice actually aimed at her target and got it perfect. Well, uh, I mean, what would you think a Lady of the Lake would be? I mean, it's not all to do with beauty and all that, but it's also the individual itself that you pick for. About strength and charisma, which I think is also why Vel... All five of them, in their own different ways, have a special talent. But why the heck have we not got the option to just save that this portion? Uh, I bet you all want me to just pick a person and let's just go with it. Well... I'm sorry. Princess Beatrice, I choose you. A wise choice, Squire. It seems that despite that seedy look of yours, you have impeccable taste. Uh, milady, could I take that boat back? <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit too late. Yes. <laughs> anyway, here's your winner, Princess Beatrice. <laughs> your Highness, any words before you take your swim? None. Why, yes. As a matter of fact. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're gonna, uh, gonna make a different save file. Fellow Cyruleans, I am not surprised that you chose me as your next Lady of the Lake. Lady of the Lake, future Queen of Cerulea. 
I am your future queen after all. And my victory affirms this fact. Know that I will hold both of these titles with the strength and dignity they deserve. We look forward to your rule, princess. Thank you. Now, to the lake! Hopefully Amy is not too disappointed in us. We will choose her whenever we decide to go on her route. Which is not right now. And there you have it! Princess Beatrice now basks under the gaze of the fertility god. May his blessing bring you great fortune! Aww. <laughs> Congratulations, princess! On point as always. Thank <laughs> you, Sir Hugh. Hey, princess. Good job. Of course it was. So, princess, what did it feel like being in the middle of the lake? Oh, are you talking about the legend, Squire? My <laughs> mind, what a curious mind. Yes. Well, I'd say it was very peaceful. It felt like a warm evening bath after a hard day of work. Yep. Maybe I should thank you for giving me this opportunity. You did vote for me, after all. You deserved it, Princess. Thank you. But let us not mull over such things. The festivities await. The people deserve to enjoy this day with their princess. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Party time! I felt so bad for not voting for Amy. Especially as well, she said there's a big apple pie awaiting for us at home if we vote for her. But then again, that sounds like a bait. So that we just vote for her. I spent the rest of my day celebrating with Princess Beatrice. I'm sorry to all those that think that I'm just spending time with Princess Beatrice. I'm not. There are other people to say, obviously. 150. Hmm. Now we're here. What can we get from the waters? Tiny fish? Tiny fish, okie dokie. There's no legendary fish, though. Hmm. Let's talk with Val. How are you doing? What do you want? Likes? Looks like there's something on her mind. What's up, Val? Oh, hi there. Hello. Oh. No snappy comebacks? Are you feeling okay? <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, I am fine. I was just... Just what? Uh, I was just thinking of a gift for Boss. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. For the innkeep? What for? Mm -hmm. He's a pretty nice guy, you know? Yeah. He's always generous with his servings. He cleans up after everyone's mess. He's a good boss, he is. Plus, he doesn't get mad at me whenever I start a ruckus. Probably because he knows that you're always one that will win. Yeah, you sure do that a lot. I should give him a new pair of glasses. Or, or maybe a new set of boots? Boots is a good idea. Oh, I never knew you could be so thoughtful. <laughs> That's because I... Uh, 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 goodbye! Hey, wait! <laughs> Aww. Really? What is up with that girl? Nothing. Nothing is up with her whatsoever. You could say that she has a good mind on her head. Hmm, nine o'clock, where do we go? Let's get herbal soap, nothing there. However, there's no repercussions. I'm sorry, Amy, that we didn't get to vote for you. <laughs> if I want to make this route happen, then we must prioritize Beatrice. Chop some wood. That'll make Amy happy, right? I'm sorry, Amy. Yes. We don't need a garage of dreams. <laughs> Not like that. All of our content. Wait a minute. If there's a five way tie and we didn't vote, then who was the sixth person? Like, we were the five judges and somehow it was a five way tie. Oh, that was the people as well. That was their judge. It was that. It was that, obviously. It was obviously because we weren't the only ones that actually judged the performance, but people also did. Would you go back in there, please? Just s stop. We we're saving a different slot this time around. It is now a new day. A new day dawns. Let's see now. 
Let it be known that on this day, yours truly became a guest judge on the Lady of the Lake beauty pageant. It was up to me to break a tie, so I chose Princess Beatrice. I'm sorry, Amy. Look at all these events. I should read through all of them once I've completed my first Let's Play playthrough, I mean. Hello? Anybody around? Oh yes, hello, Amy. Moo. Bessie's milk obtained. Chop up some wood. Hey there. Hello. Would you like some flowers? Well, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Aw, she loves flowers. 25 points. And only after the day of giving her a gift can we actually do anything. Uh, plaza. Plaza, 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 plaza. Why didn't you join? A squire like you should buy from a shopkeeper Shut like up. me. Nah, I'm not. I'm not compensating. Uh, sell those. Sell that. Aw, oh, little froggy. So cute, though. What a little frog like you doing out here. Look at all these things that we can sell. 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 So, <laughs> I feel so, well, I feel so rich compared to other things. Um, after the necklace, we'll give, so, so, we'll give her the ring and then the necklace. And take good care of your gold. Of course you will. You always take good care of our gold. Uh, where do we go now? We need to train up more before we head out to the outskirts again. Outskirts to face our destiny. Nothing there. What about the doge? I'm doing this only because time may transpire by more than it should. We don't waste any time getting that. How goes your training? My train has been excellent, thank you very much. Luxurious rain. Winning me over with gifts, aren't we? Interesting. Winning one over with gifts is Interesting to say the least. I've been looking for you. Have you now? Traditions. So, Princess, you sure seem like an expert on Cerulean culture. What can you tell me about that? Ah, yes. Though it might not be as tangible as an army, a ruler must always be aware of the culture of their kingdom. Indeed. Take traditions, for example. An important part of Cerulean culture. Yep. Give the people events to look forward to and they'll remain happy. Such things are especially important during times of turmoil. Yep. That's true! There's nothing like letting loose! Bring on the meat and the booze, baby! Sign me up for the parties! And let us not forget the cultural mm -hmm. festivals. The music, the dancing. Master artisans displaying their craft for everyone to admire. Yay. And there's all the cute girls. Bikinis, tank tops, mini skirts. Everywhere. Stop thinking with that instrument. And expensive wines imported from Alcos. <laughs> there is nothing like sipping a good drink while the bards play their tunes. Yay. Yeah. This one time Pops tried to chug a whole barrel of ale. <laughs> he was vomiting in the streets. Ouch. I, I see. <laughs> and at the end of the day, we topped it all off with a good old bar fight. Pops took three people on at once. And he won. Oh, oh, and the whole time, Amy was singing, like, really badly. I think she actually made people's ears bleed. I guess that helped us win the bar fight. So good on her! Yep, it distraction. we have very different ideas of what entails a festival. Yep. Well, us commoners have our own way of partying. You high society came for us. You guys couldn't keep up. Wow. Is that a challenge? Yes, Beatrice. That is indeed a challenge. I'm just saying, Princess. You should try heading over to the tavern sometime. I'll show you how Cerulean's really party. Or really party. Hmm. <laughs> I'm take you up on that offer one of these days. One of these days, huh? One of these days, I'll show you. Whether you are princess or not, I'll show you a good time. Why, hello there, Squire. Our cozy culture. Princess! I've been itching to ask, what's Alcos like? Oh, I am flattered that you have an interest in my home country. Indeed. Hmm. 
Where do I begin? Where does one begin in this town? Well, for starters, we are a merchant kingdom, the world's largest capital of trade. Ooh. Oh, you should see it one of these days. The canopy market stretches on for miles. Thousands of tents all piled up together. When I look upon it from the upper floors of my palace, it looks like an intricate web of colored cloth, Aww. blanketing most of the city. The market even stretches out onto the sea, where all the stalls are set up on boats. Aww. It would take years to visit every single stall. It, I imagine it would. And that is not an exaggeration. Believe me, I literally tried visiting every stall. And? Oh, it took me four years. <laughs> I thought I had succeeded. But then more tents just built up. But by that time, hundreds of new stalls had popped up where the old ones used to be. Yep. One could, in theory, shop for all eternity. Ouch. Whoa. I bet our marketplace looks crabby by comparison. Of course not. Oh, no. Do not get the wrong idea. That's a quantity amount of... Cerulean markets may be smaller, but they have a certain charm to them. I'm glad you have a diverse amount of taste, Kumala. It is like visiting the farm after spending years in the city. Quaint, relaxing, cozy. Not claustrophobic. Yay! More time for our wonders. Wonderfuls. Um. Amy. Oh, yeah, we've already seen her today. Giselle is there. Actually, let's do some training for once. We keep trying to prioritize the waifus of this game, but we have not yet once. Try to bestow ourselves with some good old training. Some gains. <laughs> that was more than enough. I more, think. If more than enough, you think. Hello there again. We've already seen you today. Um yeah, let's go and see Vel for the day. La oh yeah, she was there, wasn't she? <laughs> Hello. Y you? What are you looking at? I'm looking over your head. Oh, they're finally in season. I hear these are healthy. Maybe they'll help me grow. No, that's impossible. Hello there, Val. Ah! <laughs> you gobshite. Don't sneak up on me like that. Okay, Val, calm down. You don't need to stick your hair up like that. Hey, what's that you got there? Bears? That's funny. I thought you were more of a jerky nail type. Yeah. What's wrong with liking fruit? Exactly, Vale. Exactly. Fruits are wonderful. Hey, relax. Just that I've never seen you eat anything that's not from the tavern. Bruh. I'm just like everyone else, you little... <laughs> little tosser. So that makes you a microscopic tosser. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be snacking on these in peace. That's all good. Okay. Well, I'll see you around then. Yeah, whatever. Okay, Vel. Just because we're not prioritizing you, just because we didn't choose you as the Lady of the Lake. God. I think I'd have tied it up between Amy, Kamala, and Beatrice. If it was my true choice. Um, Giselle, because she's enigmatic. Well... I'm not saying that's a bad thing, of course, but magic, honestly. <laughs> magic. Hello, princess. Oh, I was about to say princess. Um, likes. Hey, have you heard? There's new tasty beer at the tavern. Ew. Ouch. What? You don't like beer? How about ale? Or whiskey? Useful, but, but no. no. Alcohol clouds the mind. Yeah, it also is a stress reliever. Also, allergies. I can't believe it. A Cerulean who doesn't like drinking! Even the princess has a cellar full of wine below her kitchen. Waste of time. Aw, that sucks. It does suck. Believe me. And hey, we can do some training. It's too late to train now. Oh yeah, of course. If we didn't talk to Giselle, then we wouldn't have had that. Hmm. Visit the infirmary, then go back home. 
Hmm. Lovely potion. Nothing there. Lovely. Well, folks, I know it's just a tad shorter than previous episodes, but I need to rest my voice every once in a while. But thank you so much for... Well, while as in, like, a day. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you all in the next time of Love Esquire. But before we do that, we must do our daily duties inside the house. Look at this wonderful portrait. Aw, oh, little Amy. They all look so happy together, a family of three. And hey, we're a family of three. We're not blood-related, me and Pops and Amy, but Amy and Pops are. And, well, it goes to say that not all family has to be blood-related. In a way, the meaning of the word family isn't always blood-related. Like, you have people out there, like, People you've grown up with, people you've spent so much time with, even though they're not blood related, they have the equivalence of like being somebody who is blood related in your family, someone who's always been there for you. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you all in the next time of Love Esquire. Have a wonderful day folks and take care of yourselves.